Hi, Amy with Fashion Tappings here. Now this video is gonna be a little bit different. My laptop crashed today. The entire hard drive is gone. And it's in the middle of videotaping, all of a sudden up pops my screen, it freezes, and then when I reboot, reboot it has a little Apple symbol with the no sign through it. My, so I have no computer anymore. So I'm videotaping this on my camcorder, uh, or video recorder, or whatever you wanna call it. Um, and uh, I don't have a computer with video editing software uh, to be able to edit this, so I'm not sure how this is gonna get up on YouTube, but I wanted to get the sewing video in because I already started it. I already started videoing it, so I have to start over. So here's where I left off and I'll explain to you what I've done. What I'm doing is I'm going to give this plain black t-shirt a new look. And what I'm gonna do is I took out the whole back of the shirt and I'm replacing it with this beautiful chiffon fabric. Now, aren't these gonna look just, look at that together. It's gonna, it's gonna look gorgeous. So I'm replacing the back of it with this, this beautiful chiffon. So I cut out the back of the shirt. Now here's the tricks when it comes to, to cutting out the back of your shirt. I cut, it, it kind of, it, it's falling forwards because knits stretch. Um, so what I did is I have my side seam down the side. I cut, one half, so a half inch, I cut a half inch um, towards the back of the shirt, a half inch away from that side seam, all the way up, to just about an inch down from your underarm seam, and then straight across, and now on this side seam, once again, I'm a half inch t away from the side seam towards the back of the shirt, I cut this side, and once again, I'm about an inch below my underarm seam. So that's what I've gotten done so far. Next, I went ahead, like I said, I've already done all this because I videotaped it once, <laughs> which is on a dead computer, which has over 130 of my videos. Some are not on YouTube, they're personal videos, but I lost all of them. So we'll see what's gonna happen. But, so here's the piece I cut out, right here. Now. You would think you would lay this down and you would trace it to make the replacement for it. Uh-uh. Now remember, this is a stretch fabric. We're replacing it with a chiffon or if you're using silk or anything else that's not a stretch fabric. If you would cut the exact same size, even adding in just a little bit of a seam allowance, it's going to be skin tight because there will be no gift. So what we want to do is take our square, you would lay it down on your fabric, and down the side seams, you're gonna add between four and five inches. Uh, I did exactly four inches, but you might, you know, it's up to you if, if you want to be able to play with it. And, uh, just in case you make a mistake, you have extra material, um, you can go larger than four. But down my side seams, my square, my chiffon is four inches wider than the square that I removed because it does not have stretch. As far as the length, we will determine that when we start putting it into place because we want to see um, how it's going to lay with our front hem because I want the back of my shirt to be more of a waterfall. I want the back to be longer and the short to be uh, the front to be shorter. And this has this beautiful black stripe in already in the pattern. So I'm going to have the bl the black stripe be the bottom. Now the first thing we need to do is. You know how I told you to, to go, let's see if I can zoom in here. Okay, remember how I told you that you're, you're cutting up the side seam? You're gonna cut a half an inch away from the side seam, but on the back of the shirt. So a half inch would be out here. So what you're, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take that extra fabric and you're gonna fold it behind. So our stitch line for our side seam is now gonna be our nice clean edge and then you're gonna pin it into place. Okay, so like I said, you took your that half an inch of extra fabric you have, you're gonna roll it towards the, the wrong side of the fabric, the inside of your shirt, you're gonna roll it towards that and pin it because you want a nice clean edge all the way around. You're also gonna hem this, the back. I just tucked it under, I just did a single roll. So I tucked it under about a half an inch and pinned it in place. Same with over here, I took that half inch that's past our seam line, I folded it under and pinned it into place. Now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is take this to the sewing machine and we're gonna do a straight stitch 
up the side very close to the edge. All we're doing basically is trying to capture the material that we folded fold it in. We're capturing it to keep it in place because jersey knits do roll. They don't fray but they do roll. So I'm just going to do a straight stitch up my pin line close to the edge along my pin line and then come back down so that our shirt is all prepped and ready to go for us to start adding the chiffon. So let's go ahead and take this to the sewing machine. Okay now I'm going to sew my straight stitch up my side seam. I'm starting at my bottom hem and I'm going to go all the way up my side seams underneath the arm and back around. I'm just doing a straight stitch and I'm stitching at about a 3.0 stitch length. That's a straight stitch. So I'm going to go forwards and I'm going to back stitch. Okay, go back forwards again. Sneak my hand in here. Sorry, I can't see. There we go. Just had to get over that thick material. Okay, so I'm just stitching fairly close to the edge. I know that I'm capturing the fabric that I have folded behind. Just doing a top stitch. Take out pins as I go. Make sure you're keeping everything straight. Since this is stretch fabric, make sure you do not pull or tug on your fabric at all. You're just guiding it. Try to keep it straight. up to my underneath my armpit or my under, uh, underarm and make a gradual curve okay I'm gonna follow making sure I have my arm hole or my arm my sleeve of my shirt out of the way make sure it wasn't getting caught underneath there feeling my fabric as I go I'm working on my back piece. Check my fabric underneath. working my way all along my pin line and then continue all the way down to your bottom hem. We've completely straight stitched everything that was pinned. All of our raw edges that we just got done cutting. I have, I have my fabric that I'm going to be putting inside here, which um, is, since I've done this video twice, I can't remember what I have and haven't told you. This fat piece of fabric that I cut out, let's see, right here, it's the black is the bottom. This little fabric, that piece that I cut out, is actually four inches. I took, I took the piece that I removed, I laid it on my fabric, and I went four inches wider four inches wider because this is stretchy and this is not. We need to make sure there's plenty of give so the shirt's not too tight. So you're going to take your uh, the, the piece of material you cut out from the back of your shirt, laid it down in your fabric and added four inches. You can go five if you want to be safe to the width of your square. Now how tall you make it is up to you. I made it extra long and then so I could play with it and cut it off as I needed to. So. Um, I was very generous when it comes to the length of the fabric. So then I took it to, because chiffon frays horribly, you're going to want to zigzag all of your edges before you start attaching it to your shirt. You want to go through and zigzag all your edges, edges. Now I just used my serger. Yes, I got my serger working again. So I am just used my serger. I use black thread so you can see. But remember, we're four inches wider than the opening. Remember that? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the center of our piece, top center, it's right there, and we're just going to put a little pleat. I mean by put a little pleat, I just fold the material up. 
and you're going to have to test it. Let me get a pen. You're going to have to test it as you go. Okay, I had to pin up one of my sleeves, so it looks kind of funny. Now you find the center back, and you're going to tuck it behind, and you're going to pin. That can look gorgeous. Next, you're going to go out to the, your underarms, to the side seam under. You're going to go to the side seam that's underneath your arm, uh, your armhole here. My armhole looks funny because I have it pinned up in the way. So there's my arm. I'm lifting it up just to get it out of the way. Pin it in place there so you can see. So I'm taking the sides, the, the side seam here, right where the side seam is under the arm. I'm going to pin this behind there. Okay, go around to this side, do the same thing. Get my arm, ouch, arm out of the way. And attach this underneath the side seam, underneath the arm. Right where your armpit and the side seam meet. Pin into place. Okay, now you have to pin along this line. Tucking that under. and pinning away. And normally you're probably you're probably wondering going, well, why isn't she doing it from inside out? Well, that is because I don't want a whole bunch of stitch lines along here. I'm going to top stitch right on top of my line that I already did when I hemmed the black shirt. So I'm, just, I'm tucking this underneath and I'm gonna go right back over that same stitch line and top stitch this material into place. That way I don't have a ton of little sewing lines. It'll look like the shirt was originally made with this lining. Make adjustments to make sure it lays nice and neat. So you can see what I did. I just tucked it underneath the black shirt. See this side's done and this side I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna tuck it underneath and pin, pin this right on top, okay? So I'm not used to having my laptop. My laptop is close up and a lot easier to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna keep pinning, and then as soon as I get my top pinned, then I can start pinning down the sides, connecting my sides to the chiffon. So let me get it all pinned up and I'll be right back. I have it all pinned. It's not on here straight. But okay, so I have it all pinned and you can see right here, see how it kind of folds? That's gonna give us our extra flounce of the back. That, that, that This is right back center. This is where I put that, just that little fold in my chiffon so it gives me some extra material. It also allowed me to match up at the sides. So I pinned all the way across the back, pinned and joined it all the way to the uh, to the sides. Now, no, uh, keep in mind, I'm not pinning all the way down to the to the end here, because what I need to do, since I have my little surged edge right here, I need to hem that. So I'm going to fold that under, under once, and then attach it. So that, uh, so that when I need to start hemming my bottom of my shirt, it already have that fold in it. So I just, just keep folding as I go around. So when you get down to about an inch on the bottom, take this material and just fold it once before pinning it, so that we have a start of a full, uh, our roll for our single rolled hem. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, and I have a a little bit more of a close-up here. I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to top stitch once again right in my old stitch line all the way around the shirt and then down my side seams. Don't forget when you get to an inch from the bottom of your hem, the bottom of your shirt, make sure to roll the chiffon so we have a start of a, uh, a roll for our hemline part that's going to be visible at the bottom. So hopefully that makes sense. 
Okay, here we go. So I've top, I've top stitched all the way around, and like I told you, I'm at the bottom hem, right here. I'm joining the chiffon together. So, so far, all I've been doing is just, you see the chiffon behind here? Just lay this on top and sewed on my previous stitch line, connecting the two. But I need this to look nice and neat. So, what I'm going to start doing now that I'm at my end of end of my side seam, I'm going to start rolling this hem backwards. Could have done it this, the whole distance of the shirt, but that would have been a lot of work. So I just rolled it and pinned it. So then I can continue all the way around the shirt. Just keep rolling it. Just keep rolling all the way around. Just rolling our zigzagged edge. In my case, it's a surged edge. Just keep rolling it behind. I'll change my pin directions in a minute, but it makes it easier for me to show you makes it easier for me to show you when I'm using my right hand. See how that's going to look? So I'm going to continue to roll my hem all along the bottom of the chiffon and I can continue my straight stitch hemming the bottom of the shirt at the same time. Okay. Just following my previous stitch line. Remove that pin. Okay, remove this pin. For security, you could do a back stitch. My machine has a fixed stitch, so I'm going to fix my stitch right here just for an extra strength. And you could back stitch if you don't have the fixed button. Okay, now I'm going to continue along hemming the bottom of my shirt. If you want to do a double rolled hem, you can. I don't need to because I surged my edge so it's already kind of nice and neat. Okay, just keep following the curve. Always have your machine, if your machine will let you, always have it set to, so that when you stop, it stops with the needle down. So anytime you want to check your material, you know your material is not going to slide out because the needle will hold it. I'm going to hem all the way around. Just rolling, turning and sewing at the same time. Now you can pre-pin this if you want to, but since we already zigzagged our edge, I surged mine. It makes it very easy to just roll and hold. All the way around. Okay, well, I finished up and it looks good, but you're going to be able to see my you're going to be able to see my surge edges with the single rolled hem. So I'm going to go back and do a double rolled hem, and that's easy to do. We just go back to our side seam. There's our side seam, and we're just going to fold just the chiffon. You don't need to pin this because you can roll as you go. You can just roll the, the distance of your previous your first roll. Okay, and you're just going to go slow. Fix my stitch, or back stitch, whichever your machine does, 
and just follow your previous roll. Roll and hold tight. Don't stretch. Keep going out ahead of your uh, ahead of your your where you're at here. Just keep on going out ahead. Roll it one more time. Okay. Go out. Roll under again. Hold it into place. Fix or backstitch, and we are done. Oh, here's the finished shirt. See the got some extra room back here. Now next time I went four inch. This panel is actually four inches wider than the material I removed because it doesn't have any stretch. I think next time I might go six inches because I want it really, really loose and flowy. But this is so cute. This is gonna look really cute with leggings. So I'll, I'll take some pictures so that you can see what it, what it looks like. But see, we have that little tiny pleat in the center. But it's very simple. I like it. I actually love this fabric. I got this fabric at Joanne Joanne Fabrics. And it's a, I spruced up a boring black t-shirt. And now I have a, look at this chiffon. I just love this. I love this project. Granted, the video this time is not that well done because I can't really see myself because this is a little tiny, uh, little tiny camera until I can figure out what's wrong with my laptop. But okay, well, this is another sewing video. I'll take some better pictures and place them at the end. If you want to see more sewing videos, um, go ahead and click like and subscribe. And uh, I guess I'll be back as soon as I figure out what's going on with my computer. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be back next week. Well, this is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.